Okay, uh, another GED question of the day. Let's read it. According to the table, let me see a table right here. How much more will you pay per minute? How much will we pay per minute if you use the competitor instead of clear talk for your long distance needs? Okay, so obviously here we're asking to uh, compare two different costs per minute. We have um, clear talks cost per minute and the competitors cost per minute. And we see this phrase, how much more? Anytime you see the phrase, how much more, how much less, we're comparing two numbers. We're looking at the difference between the two numbers. Um, and so we are going to end up subtracting. But before we can subtract them, we have got to find these two numbers. We have got to find how much I'm going to pay per minute if I use clear talk and how much I'm going to pay per minute if I use the competitor. So let's go ahead and look at our uh, graphic that we have here. We see that this is released by ClearTalk, and they say this is the US price. And here we see that we're going to pay $12 if we talk for 400 minutes, uh, $24 when we talk for 800 minutes, and so on and so forth. But what we don't have is the price per minute. We're going to have to do a little bit of work to convert this into a price per minute. But the really nice thing is that phrase right there tells me exactly what to do. To take the price per minute, I'm going to start with a price and you ask which price and it actually really doesn't matter which one. So let me start with the $12 price and I'm going to per it. I'm going to divide it by the number of minutes I got to talk for $12. Well, how many minutes did I get to talk for $12? I got to talk for 400 minutes. Okay, so I have this uh, little expression here, 12 divided by 400. A lot of students mix that up because it feels like you can't divide 12 by 400. You sure can. You're just going to end up with some number of cents. It's going to be a little bitty tiny amount. So I'm going to type that in exactly the way I see it in my calculator. I'm not going to switch the order even if it feels unnatural. And I get this number. 0 0.03, 12 divided by 400, which gives gives me 0 0.03. What does that mean? That means that I am get, being charged three cents per minute. And that makes sense. If I had flipped those numbers around, like a lot of students wanna do and done 400 divided by 12, I would have gotten a cost of $33 per minute and oh my land, that's some expensive long distance. Okay, so we have the price per minute now for uh, clear talk, but we also need the price per minute for the competitor. So it looks like the competitor is charging $40 for 400 minutes. To get their price per minute, we're going to start with the price, $40, and we're going to divide by the number of minutes, 400, and I think that's going to be 10 cents per minute, but I will... Uh, verify that in my calculator and if you were doing this on the GED you would get a calculator and we get this 0 0.1 now a lot of students look at that and they go oh look it's just one cent per minute be really careful um, cents are in the hundredths place these are like dimes this is the tenths place right after the decimal here so this is like one dime if you need to add a zero to a number you don't squish it in between um, the decimal place and the number you put it afterwards so this is 10 cents per minute Great, so now that I know the price per minute for ClearTalk and the price per minute for the competitor, I can answer this question. How much more will you pay per minute if you use the competitor? So I'm going to take the larger number, the 10 cents, and subtract the smaller number, the three cents. When you compare, you always want a positive answer. That's why I started with the bigger number. That's one easy way to do that. And I see that there's a seven cent difference between the two prices. You may pay seven cents more a minute if you go with the competitor.